Hello, my friends. Today is Saturday, the first full week of Lent, and the title of our devotion today is Zachary Lyon's Secret. We're going to take our Bibles and we're going to open them up to the book of Luke. We're going to look for Luke 10 so that we can read 25 through 37 together. You go ahead, press pause, get yourselves all set up. And then when you're ready, we're going to read it together, okay? Now, if you're in a situation where maybe you don't have someone to, to help you look it up, or maybe you don't have a Bible handy, or maybe you're still learning how to read, no problem, because I'm going to read this for us, okay? So I'm either going to read it with you or for you very shortly, okay? Okay, if you're going to pause, this is the time. Press pause. <laughs> Okay, for the rest of us, we're just going to start reading Luke 10, 25 through 37. It says this, And behold, a lawyer stood up and put him, put Jesus, to the test, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? And he, the lawyer, answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and you should love your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But he, desiring to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among robbers who stripped him and beat him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now, by chance, a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So, likewise, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. He went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. And he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. And the next day he took out two denarii and gave it to the innkeeper, saying, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, I will repay you when I come back. Which of these three, Jesus is asking the lawyer, which of these three do you think proved to be a neighbor to the man who fell among robbers? The lawyer answered him, the one who showed him mercy. And Jesus said, you go and do likewise. Hmm, that is a good parable, isn't it? I wonder how many of you have heard that before. Have you heard that parable before? I hope so, it's a good one. Okay, now let's jump into our devotion. Every night, Dakota took Brown Bear to bed. Now, Brown Bear was lying on the floor with a torn ear and Dakota cried himself to sleep. Zachary Lyon had heard the whole thing. First, Mom had given Dakota a time out because he rode his bike in the street, oh no. Then he couldn't watch television after he yelled, Tanner gets to do everything. Then Dakota grabbed Brown Bear by the ear and shook him till his ear almost came off. Then he threw him on the floor and climbed into bed. Soon the house was dark, and only Zachary Lyon could, could hear Brown Bear groaning on the floor. It wasn't easy to sew Brown Bear's ear, but Zachary did the best that he could. Dakota woke up the next morning and yelled, Brown Bear, you're fixed! It's kind of messy, though. I bet Tanner did it. I'm going to tell everybody I'm sorry for the way that I acted yesterday. Zachary Lyon smiled. That is a fun pretend story, isn't it? It helps us better understand um, how we are to treat one another, right? Well, Jesus once told a story about a man who was a good helper. When we feel God's love, he will show us how to help other people. Let's pray. Jesus, when people are sad or hurt, help us to know how to help them. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, friends, do you see? Do you see that we've already filled up two of our strands here on our mobile? Oh, we're going to have to start another one, aren't we? Yes, we are. I wonder what our medallion is today. Oh, a lot of our story took place at night, right? Zachary Lyon in our pretend story helped Brown Bear at night. I bet that's why that's 
why that's the, the uh, graphic that we have today. Let's see what the back says. It says, how can even a little one, maybe like you, be a big helper? That's a good question. And you should talk about that with the people you're with right now. I love you so much, my friends, and I'll meet you back here tomorrow. Bye.